Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Nintendo Switch related video for you. If you can't tell uh, from what this is, uh, the title itself should tell you. These are the new Pikachu and Eevee Joy-Cons for the Nintendo Switch. These are currently, at least in the US, exclusive to a Nintendo Switch bundle that comes with a new Nintendo Switch that, it's well, it's a regular Nintendo Switch, but the back of it has a themed pattern, uh, I think with Pikachu and Eevee. Uh, and then there's a special dock and these special Joy-Cons. Uh, now, the Joy-Cons uh, might be sold separately in the Pokemon Center in Japan. You'd have to import it and all that. I ended up ordering them off eBay. Somebody was actually selling the Joy-Cons on eBay, so that's really all I wanted. I didn't need the dock or the other Switch or anything. I just collect Joy-Cons. So I didn't open these up to really get a good look at them yet because I wanted to do that on camera. Uh, so this is going to be a long video, I warn you. First of all, I'm going to show you these controllers in detail. We'll plug them into the Switch and see what they look like and the Joy-Con grips and all that. Then I have every single Joy-Con that's been released so far and I'm going to mix and match and show you every combination that you can get with these new Pikachu and Eevee Joy-Cons. So we have a lot to get through, so let's just jump right in and take a look at these controllers here. So, um, like I said, I got this right off eBay, but this is available in an exclusive Nintendo Switch bundle. Ooh, this looks really cool. I'm excited for this one. So, here it is, guys. Um, really, really neat. So let's start with the Eevee side of things. So one side is themed after Eevee um, with this, this brown-colored Joy-Con, and then you have the this little off-white uh, Joy-Con strap right here. Uh, and this is meant to symbolize uh, Eevee and the little tail on the end of Eevee, you know, being this white color. So this being the color scheme for Eevee. Let me just plug this in real quick and just show you what that looks like. So that looks really, really cool. Um, yeah, definitely fits the, the color scheme for Eevee. Really, really nice. I like that. I've always found that Joy-Con straps with contrasting colors work a lot better than if I were to try and match up the colors. Then it just, it doesn't always work properly, or at least the look of it doesn't always seem right. Uh, on the other side of things, we have a Pikachu um, Joy-Con, so it's yellow. And this is not the neon yellow. This is a different yellow, so I will do a comparison. I do have the neon yellow Joy-Cons, so you, you can compare and see. This is like a true yellow color, and it actually looks really nice, the whole black and yellow style actually looks really cool uh, and you got like this brown um, Joy-Con strap here to go alongside the the Pikachu theme um, and yeah that that looks really really cool I like that a lot definitely um, so here they are the Pikachu and Eevee Joy-Cons right here um, if you actually have this on the Nintendo Switch and then you put it in the dock the yellow uh, lines up with Pikachu on the dock, and then the brown lines up with Eevee on the dock, so that actually looks really cool. Um, I don't need the dock. I have a Super Smash Brothers dock. Uh, I did an unboxing of that, if in case you want to see that bundle. Um, so I just needed the Joy-Cons, and uh, yeah, they look really cool. So let's grab my Nintendo Switch here. Okay, um, so let's get into this. And uh, I'm playing Pokemon Let's Go Eevee right there. So I'm going to go into the controller screen. Okay, and I am going to plug in the new Joy-Cons, and then we're going to see what they look like in here. So, let's take off these Joy-Con straps. Alright, you guys ready for this? Let's start. Oh, actually, i got to take these off. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to plug in the Eevee Joy-Con right here. So, there you have it. The brown color shows up and it is now paired. Uh, and then on the other side, I have the Pikachu Joy-Con. Ready? There you go. There's the, the, the Pikachu and colored icon right there, Pikachu and Eevee color, colored. And here's the Switch. Um, yeah. Oh, controller update is available. Sure, let's update the controllers. Um, Oh, the, the gray one. I haven't updated those. But uh, this is super cool. I always liked um, some of the color combos that Nintendo has chosen when they've gotten the different 
contrasting colors for the, for the Switch, like the red and blue. At first I was like, it's kind of weird, but it worked. It looked really nice. The, um, they've done like the green and pink for Splatoon, which I also think looks great. And I think this color combo actually looks really nice. I, I actually do like this a lot. Um, granted, I still hope and wish that one day they're going to release the complementing Joy-Cons. Like we're going to get another yellow on the left and the brown on the right. Because right now, this is you can only get this yellow as a right Joy-Con and this brown one as a left Joy-Con. Like you can't get the reverse. Um, I, I wish you could. Maybe one day they'll have that. But as of now, it's just this side, um, which looks nice. But I do prefer, you know, more options. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely really nice. So if you buy the bundle... This is, it'll look the same from the front, but on the back, the special Nintendo Switch has got a design on it. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind if you're, if you're getting the bundle. So, if you like, if you don't care about Pokemon and you just wanted the Joy-Cons, if you get the bundle, you're going to have a Pokemon-themed Switch. So, just keep that in mind. Um, so, let's, um, let's, you know, take another look at some of this stuff with, uh, with these joy cons here, you know, let's really dive in and, and see what we can do. So um, first of all, I do have the joy con grip um, So here is the joy con grip and this is actually the one that it is uh, sold separately But uh, in stores because it's translucent, but let's plug in these joy cons and you can see what they look like in the joy con grip so pretty standard, but there's a the color scheme again. I think it matches um, I certainly think these colors complement each other well yeah, looks really cool. All right. We'll take those out there. Uh, I also have, in case anybody cares, this little, uh, this is like the battery pack. So you can, uh, if you need your Joy-Cons to have like a better, better battery life, um, you can actually put in batteries in here. If I can actually take this off, I can show you. Uh, there you go. You can put in AA batteries right there. So it, it kind of acts as a bigger grip for the Joy-Cons. I don't really use these much, to be honest. I got them on sale, um, and I thought they're at least worth exploring and seeing what they're like. But uh, there's one for each side, so this is for the right Joy-Con. So in case you just want to see what, what this would look like, I guess, um, in case you're curious. I'll just plug in the other side as well, and then we'll, and then we'll, we'll compare. So yeah, so this is like the bigger grip style. Uh, it, it actually, you know, for a game like ARMS, this certainly adds a nice grip, actually. So I think if you're playing ARMS, um, this is actually not a bad purchase. I think it certainly works for that. Otherwise, I feel like it just gets really bulky. Um, but maybe you like that extra grip in the back. So maybe, you know, especially like this, it can be a little bit more comfortable than just the standard Joy-Cons on their own. So just for the grip alone, it's kind of nice. You may not need the extra battery, but you know, it's still a nice grip. So there you have that. I told you, this is gonna be a long video because I'm showing you all sorts of accessories. Here's the wheel as well, uh, in case you wanna use these with the wheel and wanna know what they're gonna look like. Um, so here is the right Joy-Con in the wheel, just like that. Um, you know, it's black and yellow. It very simple. Um, but let's plug in the other one here. And there it is. Again, nice brown color there. Okay. So, uh, with that being said, right, so these are the Joy-Con straps. Now, they can actually be swapped because you can use them any side. So, let's swap these Joy-Con straps. Put this one here and this one here just for the heck of it. Um, I mean, it works. It's... You know, I feel like it doesn't work as well because I think, again, contrasting colors, I think, look better. Like, this isn't too bad. Uh, this one is, uh, it's okay. Um, I, I do think the opposite combo, the, the combo as intended looks better. But, you know, this certainly isn't terrible. I, I think it certainly works. So in case you, you want to swap the Joy-Con straps, then you do have that option as well. Uh, speaking of Joy-Con straps, right, so we have those. But we also have these. I told you, I collect Joy-Cons, and with Joy-Cons, you have Joy-Con straps. So we're going to go through all of these. <laughs> so, here is the uh, black Joy-Con strap and the gray one. So let's do these, and then I'll swap them. So black is what usually comes with all of the Joy-Cons, and I think it... It's very standard, but it works because all the buttons are black. So no matter what, this will look fine. I, th I think it looks good no matter what. You want something basic, something standard, you got your black ones there. The gray ones um, 
uh, are sold separately. Uh, and it does look a little bit odd because the gray just doesn't match with the black as well. Um, but it is an option. You know, it's there for those that have the gray Joy-Cons, but you can use them with anything. So let's swap these and see how that looks. So, black and yellow right here certainly looks really good. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Uh, this looks okay. Uh, the gray isn't as bad here with this color scheme, but um, yeah. Again, this is, this is if you're getting really fancy with it. Like if you really use the Joy-Cons on their own and you really like all the colors and stuff, then, I mean, you have plenty of options here, clearly. Uh, so, let's jump into the neon red and neon blue Joy-Con straps uh, to complement the ones that came with the Nintendo Switch, the neon red and blue uh, version. Now, the neon red definitely looks pinkish, um, but that's kind of what it's supposed to look like. It's, it's really weird. I don't know. Um, it is certainly different because hair's pink, so it's definitely different. Uh, I don't think it goes well with, with the Eevee Joy-Con. Uh, but this actually does look really cool. I do like this blue and yellow combo here. This looks neat. Uh, yeah. I, I like it. I think you'll find that probably the Pikachu Joy-Con will work better with most color combinations than the Eevee one. Um, but that being said, this color combo is not bad at all. I kind of like this one too. This is fun. Yeah. Uh, and again, you know, this one, this one kind of matches also. So there you have that. All right. Next up, we got our uh, Splatoon related Joy-Con straps here. So we got our green and pink. So let's plug in the green and the pink right here. Um, again, the Pikachu Joy-Con, this yellow, matches quite well. So that looks nice. Um, and here's the green, which, you know, actually is not super bad. The contrast actually kind of works for it. Yeah, not gonna lie, this is actually not too bad. All right, we'll swap these. And once again, it works. <laughs> Yellow and green right here. Looks pretty nice. Uh, it, yeah, the pink is very bold. It's very bright. But, I mean, it adds an extra bit of flair to the Joy-Con. Sure, why not? Now, here's the one that's going to be interesting because this is neon yellow. So let's let's put this with the Eevee right here. And uh, neon yellow is very bright and distracting. So, yeah, you know, it, it sticks out like a sore thumb right on here. Um, certainly does not mesh well, but I think it's gonna look even worse with the Pikachu one. Uh, yep. Just because the contrast right there between like this regular yellow and the bright neon color, it, it's, they're both yellowish, but they're different shades of yellow and that just really sticks out like a sore thumb. Like that's just, yeah, that's not that good. But there you have it guys, at least you have options. So you have all these different Joy-Con straps and now these two new Joy-Con straps as well. So lots of options for your um, customization, you know, should you choose to, to do so. That being said, we have these Joy-Cons, right? Let's bring in some other Joy-Cons. So what I'm gonna do now, I've shown you, um, right, Pikachu and Eevee, Joy-Cons like this. So there you have the Pikachu and Eevee Nintendo Switch. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take away the Pikachu one and we're gonna do all the different Joy-Cons with Eevee and then we're gonna do the opposite. So let's do this combo right here. I'm gonna bring in the standard gray Joy-Cons right here. Um, not too bad. I always feel like gray with another color looks a little odd because the gray blends in with the system, whereas the other color just kind of sticks out. But the, the brown is kind of a muted color, so it's actually not too terrible, you know? Okay, so we have the gray. We'll bring in neon red. Ooh. I don't know about that one. <laughs> the, bright, the bright color there is a little, ooh. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that, that one. All right, let's see if uh, neon blue is any better. 
Oh, you know, I don't hate it. I actually think this looks kind of nice. Maybe it's because of my love for blue, but this blue and brown combo? Okay, I can, I can dig that. I think that looks pretty cool. What do you guys think? Yeah, that's not bad at all, actually. Ooh, I like all these new color combos that we get now with the Joy-Cons. It's so great. Uh, let's bring in neon yellow. Ah, yeah, yeah, the neon, neon yellow was never, it always just, it's, it's just too neon. Like, it just kind of sticks out with whatever colors you use. It just, like, this is kind of like the Pikachu and Eevee one, but clearly, it just, this co color combo doesn't work, this shade of yellow. Uh, it's almost like, now even on camera, this kind of looks like a lime greenish, just because, yeah, I don't know, it just looks odd. Um, let's bring in the neon green. Yeah, I mean, I like the green and brown, but this neon is just so bright. And so that's what makes it a little odd. Yeah, so there's that. Uh, we have the neon pink. Again, I feel like this would be better if it wasn't so bright. The neon colors are cool, don't get me wrong. I like the neon colors. But, I don't think they work as well in combination with uh, non-neon Joy-Cons. So, we have so many neon ones, I hope that they start releasing more regular colors. Speaking of regular colors, we have the regular red right here. Um, and yeah, this one definitely goes a lot better with the brown. The, the more muted colors definitely look really nice. That's actually really cool. Yeah. What do you guys think about that one? That brown and red combo? That's actually really, really cool. You could almost like fantasize and make this like Eevee and Charmander, I don't know, like a different Pokemon combo or something. I don't know, it could represent some other franchise, but it almost kind of looks golden, like red and gold. Like, I, I, I like that. Um, then, okay, this isn't much of a combo, but here's the gray, the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate version. It's just an extra line, but... I mean, what the heck, I'll show it to you guys anyways. So, from the back it's the same, but there's the Super Smash Brothers version. The other bundle. Uh, and then I also have some custom Joy-Cons as well. So I actually have an Atomic Purple custom Joy-Con that I built live on stream. Um, which, these, these ones always are not the best at mixing and matching with the other Joy-Cons, just because, you know, like they're see-through and it... Uh, it does look a little odd when matched with other Joy-Cons, but might as well show it to you anyways. And I have custom Legend of Zelda Joy-Cons from Controller Chaos, which this actually is not bad, because the gold on here complements the brown. Um, it's still a little odd, because I feel like this looks like it's missing a design, because this has a design. But, uh, especially from the back, like, that's not bad at all. Um, it kind of complements each other. So yeah, and I think that is it for all of the different Joy-Cons I have. So let's swap this and put on the Pikachu Joy-Con right here, the Pikachu yellow. And let's go back through all of the combos that we just had. So here is the gray Joy-Con. Again, a little odd having the gray and a color. Just seems a little lopsided, but it's doable, certainly doable. Uh, let's spice it up a little and bring in the gray with some, some extra added designs on it for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So we have two of the bundle exclusive Joy-Cons right here with the Smash Brothers and Pokemon. And Pikachu is in Super Smash Brothers, so, I mean, there you go. There's your perfect, if you want to represent both franchises right there, there you go. All right, so let's bring in Neon Red. You know, the yellow is inherently a little bit brighter than the brown one is, so at least this one, it's, I mean, the neon definitely clashes a little bit, but it's not as bad with this yellow. It's, it's certainly doable. Now, will the neon yellow fit better with this? I think it does, uh, and I've done previous videos showing that. I'm focusing on the combos with these new Joy-Cons, so you can go back and see my old video uh, 
to to see that combo. But this neon blue, ooh, neon blue seems to go with everything. Look at that. That looks nice. Ooh. That blue and yellow right there. That looks really nice, actually. I like that. What do you guys think of that one? Speaking of yellow, there's the interesting one. We got neon yellow right here. Ugh, that, I mean, that combo doesn't work, but this illustrates the difference here. Like, neon yellow, when it released, I was like, okay, it's kind of cool, they're releasing these brighter colors, kind of interesting. But man, after seeing the Pikachu one, I, I, I really want another, like, a left Joy-Con that's the Pikachu yellow, because, like, this is so much more aesthetically pleasing than that. I mean, you can see that on the camera easily. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 want, I want the other side Joy-Con. All right, let's bring in neon green, which again, you know, kind of fits in with the the yellow here. These brighter neon colors seem to to go pretty decently well together. And then we have neon pink. Yeah. Certainly looks pretty nice. It is definitely brighter, the pink, but I mean, it works. It, it definitely works if you're into that. Now let's try the regular red. So this will be interesting because it's not one of those neon colors. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. That red, man. I really love the red Joy-Cons, by the way. They look fantastic. But red with the yellow and even red with the brown, like, really, really nice. So if you get the Eevee and... Um, uh, Pikachu bundle. So if you get that Nintendo Switch and you want a second pair of Joy-Cons, red, if you can find them. Uh, although, you might have to import them because they're not sold separately in the U.S. Uh, but if you if you do import them, um, it, well worth it. I mean, clearly, you can see the red goes well really nicely with both Joy-Cons. Uh, so now let's bring in my custom ones. Uh, those are the ones that we have left over. So we have the Atomic Purple custom Joy-Con right here. Um, yeah, it is It is a bit odd, but it's a thing. There you go. And then the Legend of Zelda custom Joy-Con as well from Controller Chaos. There you go. Yeah, this one doesn't seem to match up super well. This one being kind of a more dull green with the design and this being a kind of a brighter yellow. But uh, there it is. Um, so otherwise, I mean, that is it. Uh, this is the new uh, options for the Joy-Cons that are available. So currently in the U.S., you can only buy this in the Nintendo Switch bundle for Pokemon Let's Go. Uh, now there's a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu bundle, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee bundle. Both of those bundles have the same Joy-Cons. The only difference is the actual game that you get in either one, and I believe it's a digital code that you get. So if you're wondering about, like, you don't just get the Eevee Joy-Con with the Eevee bundle or anything like that. You get both the Eevee and Pikachu Joy-Cons in either bundle. So keep that in mind. Um, if you want to buy them separately, then I think at some point, if not already, they'll be released in Japan uh, separately, I think, at the Pokemon Center. Uh, so you might be able to import them maybe through Play Asia. Uh, you have to kind of look around or find somebody that bought the bundle and is selling the Joy-Cons on eBay, which is what I did. So it's going to take some digging around, uh, but keep in mind that's there. And then also these Joy-Con straps. If you like these Joy-Con straps and the different colors, the only way to get these color Joy-Con straps is in that bundle as well. So if you are going on eBay and finding these and somebody's selling the Joy-Cons, but they don't show the straps in the picture or the listing, double check because if you want the straps, you gotta get the whole set. So do keep that in mind if you're on the hunt for these Joy-Cons. So that is it, everyone. I Hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing of sorts, kind of unwrapping. It wasn't it wasn't in a box, but, and, and this full comparison of all the different Joy-Con colors that work with the Pikachu and Eevee Joy-Cons here. I like them. I think these are cool. I think uh, if you are a Joy-Con collector, these are worth it. If you don't have a Nintendo Switch, uh, you have some great options out there to buy one now. You can buy 
the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Bundle and get these little Joy-Cons. So if you like the gray colors, but you want something with a little bit more spice to it, these little lines, you got that. But if you really want some special colors here and you're a fan of Pokemon, these Pikachu and Eevee Joy-Cons are, are pretty nice. I mean, this, this definitely looks really, really nice. And uh, I could totally see myself using these quite a bit on the Nintendo Switch. So there you have it. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.